Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an automation specialist with ESNE. In this video segment, we will review Rockwell's safety documentation as well as what makes SIP safety safe. Before we jump into our content, ESNE offers online training through YouTube. Please like and subscribe to the ESNE TV YouTube channel for how to applications and other automation content. The first advantage of utilizing Rockwell GuardLogix controllers are the pre-written safety applications. These can be found on the web at machinesafetysolutions.com, which is a Rockwell web page that archives what they call safety applications. Safety applications are documents provided by Rockwell that cover many safety functions such as access and door guarding, e-stop circuits, hand control, presence sensing, process systems, and safety subsystems. The applications contain the performance level achieved along with the category ratings and bill of materials used with component sill ratings. The application comes in the form of a PDF document that also contains attachments. Inside the application you will find the bill of materials, setup, wiring, configuration, programming, performance level calculations, and the verification plan. Inside the attachments, you will get a copy of the programming code in the form of an ACD file, wiring drawings in a DWG format, a Sistema report used for performance level rating, and an Excel sheet that details the necessary steps to verify and validate the safety system. With this provided, it removes all of the engineering effort to determine and document the performance level rating of a safety system and it provides the engineers a level of confidence that Rockwell provided the documentation and their stamp of approval. The second advantage is the GuardLogix Quit Start Guide that is more specific and detailed for the exact programming and safety controller configuration requirements. The guide runs through the details of the SIL ratings, controller system, I.O. setup, and everything else that is necessary for an application development. Anytime you are not sure why a safety application used a specific code set, you can look at the quick reference guide to explain specific requirements of the configuration and code. Also, for a person just getting started with a safety controller, having this reference material may be crucial for their development and the understanding of the system. The quick start guide won't provide the specific code that you will find inside the safety application documents, but it does review major steps needed for GuardLogix controllers such as the safety signature. The safety signature is a unique identifier that validates the safety code and configuration for the controller. After adding a safety signature, you will no longer be able to edit the safety system while online and it prevents forcing of safety I.O. Without a safety signature, the controller is not validated and therefore does not maintain the performance level of the safety system. The quick start guide also references the safety network, but it does not cover what makes SIP safety safe or how to install a safety network. To understand that, we need to look at a third party communication company called ODVA who developed the SIP safety protocol for Rockwell. ODVA developed SIP safety to work with the application layer within Ethernet IP which then allows us to use the same network established for the rest of our non-safety equipment. The protocol was designed using the black channel principle, which makes the assumption the network is completely unreliable. The black channel principle then requires more advanced analytics to be implemented, not only at the controller, but also at the end device. Now, the end devices must also identify errors and verify safety information being sent across the network. This is done using various methods such as CRC, timestamping, and inverted redundant data. To help with the network integrity, the safety controller creates what is called a safety network number or SNN. Safety devices require a more complex identifier because duplicate node numbers make it difficult to guarantee the communications are between the correct nodes. That is why the controller gives each safety node under the adapter an identical SNN. The node number or slot number added to the SNN makes every node ID under the adapter unique. 
error checking coupled with proper safety configuration implementation makes SIP safety achieve the highest level of safety, which is performance level E. Along with the performance level E network, Rockwell safety applications, and the quick start guide, you can develop a better and more robust safety system. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your local ESNE account manager or automation specialist.